Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm just taking a minute in the, the Zen room, um, just pondering, kind of meditating a little bit and thinking. Today is Thursday, the 6th of April, and the 4th of April, starting at sundown, as I shared with you for Christians, that was the beginning of Nice and 14. And that would mean that Wednesday at sundown, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ had paid the price of Adam's sin and saved us, gave us that hope uh, so that we can have a hope of everlasting life and it just dawned on me that right now the disciples Mary Mary Magdalene his mother everybody that knew him and knew that he was the Messiah they're mourning right now they're mourning and it wouldn't be until probably Saturday, between Saturday at sundown and Sunday at sundown. That would be the third day, third, sorry about that, the third day where he would have risen and been resurrected. And I think it's funny a little bit how, you know, we have the pagan holiday of Easter this year could possibly be the actual day that he risen. And when I say day, now I'm talking about our, for us, our day, not what the day is from back then. But it's anywhere between Saturday and Sunday that he would have actually been resurrected. And as I was sitting at my desk, I just had this overwhelming feeling of sadness and happiness at the same time because you know can you imagine the weight that was on him as a human and him being way more than human knowing what he was going to have to go through. And we see all this badness happening in the world. We, most people have experienced some kind of loss in their life, right? But to have somebody love you so much and you're living in a world where you may not feel that love or you may not feel that you have that kind of love or receive it from someone. You just need to always try and remember that no matter how your day is going, no matter how you feel your life is going, you are loved beyond what your mind can realize or experience and for all these people in the world that are lost they don't know who they are and it's getting worse because now it's babies questioning who they are and that being acceptable in our society now and I imagine back during Jesus's time even before Jesus's time during Sodom and Gomorrah, and that's the only one that I can think of. I'm sure it was everywhere, but it was probably very prevalent there because we know that the evil and the badness was prevalent there. Now, we are living in a modern day, worldwide Sodom and Gomorrah. And these people, they don't even realize how they are truly loved and they don't have to be troubled they don't have to feel 
bad or depressed. You know, and I'm someone who does suffer from time to time with depression, but these last few days for me, because today is Thursday, I've just been in constant thought and appreciation. And I'm just so thankful that Jesus loves me just like he loves everyone in this world. But we have to do our part and love him back and live our lives the way he preached for us to live our lives and do the things only that are pleasing to Jehovah God. Only the things that are pleasing to him. And for a lot of us, it's very hard to do because of the world we live in and everything that's surrounding us. But we also have to try and remember to keep a little bubble around us and stay prayed up and earnestly pray so that you can live your life as best you can in the directions that are given to us in the Bible to stay pure and clean and separate from this world. So this is a, a good day, even though when you look back, you know that our ancestors were very torn on this day. And for the next day or two, very hurt, very torn. Because I'm sure they didn't understand and they had no concept of what was about to come. But being very thankful and grateful to Jesus for everything that he's done for us. There's something that we need to focus on today and each day after. So... I just wanted to come and share with you guys my thoughts. I always want to hear your thoughts too, so please share them. And if I've taught you anything, if you've gained anything from listening to me, show it to me by liking the video and letting me know. Comment down below and let me know if you don't want to do the the like. You don't have to do it. But comment. Talk to me. I like when you talk to me. So I'm just gonna lay here for a little bit. Enjoy this massage chair that they provide for a minute or two. And uh, you guys just know that I do love you. Jesus loves you. Jehovah loves you. Don't ever think that nobody cares because we do. Bye.